Hi everyone, we are back here for Face It with me, Dr. G. I am so excited to restart my YouTube channel for all the education related to skin, skincare, non-surgical injectable treatments, beauty beautifying yourself and just living your best life. All of these YouTube videos will be available also via podcast. So if you are driving or not able to watch, head over to all of our podcasts on many different uh, streams. So we'll be clear uh, in the description below for all that information, but I'm so happy to have you. And today we're gonna start off with one of my newest favorite treatments around. Silfirm X, the latest innovation in repeated ultra short pulse microneedling, te microneedling technology. This is supported by 20 years of innovation and research and 20 plus, plus publication. This publications, this is amazing. So it's a dual wave radio frequency pulsed wave uh, device that treats redness and vascularity and skin laxity. It's the only FDA registered device around. Like so Silfirm X utilizes non-insulated microneedle radio frequency electrodes to uniformly treat the entire skin layer. It reacts only to abnormal blood vessels and tissue to selectively treat increased pigmentation and vascular lesions. It's the only RF microneedling device approved to safely treat neovascularities, including hard to treat conditions like rosacea and melasma that many of us suffer from. It's also safe and effective to treat wrinkles, redness, acne scars, minimizing pores, and improving the overall look and tone of the skin. Silfirm X is safe for all skin types. And the way it works is that it can penetrate from 300 microns to four millimeters. And this enables us to treat all layers of the skin. So as you guys know, I'm a dermatopathologist. I love talking about all of the layers of the skin from the stratum corneum at the super, super superficial part and down to the papillary dermis and everything in between. So it can treat the epidermis, the basal membrane and the papillary dermis. It works superficially and relatively deep, like I just mentioned. It promotes color correction, so prevents hyperpigmentation and can treat pigmentation, specifically melasma. It helps with collagen remodeling, so neocollagenesis, promoting our fibroblasts to create collagen. And it uses a single tip to do all of this. The best part that I love so much about this device is that it's essentially pain-free and there's zero downtime. So we numb your face and you're super comfortable, lots of amazing conversations with our providers. You don't feel a thing. It takes about 30 minutes or so with about 10 to 15 minutes of numbing beforehand. You feel nothing, you're relaxed, your face is numb, and then at the end of it, you see visible results such as brightening, tightening, pore minimization, complexion renewal, and the tightening is the aspect that we've really found that our patients love so much. In our practice at GFACE MD, right outside of Boston, Wellesley Hills, Mass., we might recommend about three treatments, a series of three, spaced three to six months apart. Then we reassess you and we decide, do we do another series or do we do biannual treatments, so every six months. And our patients have found to have incredible results. You can treat the face, the neck, and the body. And this brings us to another question about what is the difference between Silfermax and another popular device that's also a radio frequency microneedling device called Morpheus. Both of these systems have invested a ton of money into clinical research, and data and engineering. And that's really promising and extremely important, especially as a business owner. I like to see the data. I like to see before and after photos, but I also like to see the data. And specifically non-biased data that's not necessarily performed or researched by their company. So things to look out for, any bias, inherent bias, things like that. So a huge benefit with Silver Max, it can address both pigmentation issues and skin laxity in all skin types. So we know that there's a range of Fitzpatrick's phenotypes from one to being the lightest to six being the darkest, and Silfermax can treat all of those. The other thing is that it has traditional adjustable continuous wave technology that is very common and traditional in both of these systems, 
But Silverm X also has a patented pulse wave mode for both the face and the body. So remember that pulse wave. A little bit about the research behind Silverm X and just a disclaimer, they're not paying me to talk about this device. I use it personally and for my team and my patients and we love it, but this is not a paid advertisement. I want this to be completely unbiased for you guys and to learn something. So a little bit about Dr. Na who created this technology. He found that by using uninsulated needles, which are found in Silverm X, and two second conduction times with minimal surface pe penetration, that there are individual regions of thermocoagulation or heat around each pointed needle tip and they converge into nearby coagulation zones. So it's a little bit, it's transferring. This rapidly produces a pronounced effect at the surface, limiting the depth of coagulation to 300 microns and reducing treatment time to less than 20 minutes. With Silverm X, there is cellular and tissue damage, but there isn't destruction. I think this is super important when treating the skin because you want to have effective treatments, but you don't need to destroy the tissues. So we preserve the surrounding skin. We have a, some damage. We have neocollagenesis. We have these gold-plated needles that penetrate from 300 microns to four millimeters, enabling the treatment of all skin layers. And this allows us to help with superficial and deep blemishes, to promote color correction, to help with collagen, all with a single tip. So it's, it's truly, truly beautiful. And at the same time, we're tightening the skin, which who doesn't want that? So I encourage you guys to read about this treatment. I'm now going to talk a little bit more about exosomes, which are a huge topic internationally. And I think it's important to clarify what they are, how they're processed, um, and what we use them for. So let's get into it. So what is an exosome? Where, where do they come from? Initially and historically, they were thought to be waste products by cells. All cells secrete exosomes, especially stem cells, but we now know they're secreted for communication. So they are not waste products. They're about 30, they range in from 30 to 200 nanometers in size. And they communicate, as I said, from stem cells to recipient tissues. There are at least 50 growth factors in the mesenchymal stem cells derived from exosomes. They have about 1,050 proteins, approximately 180 of which are good for the skin. And when I talk about exosomes now, I'm specifically talking about the brand of exosomes from the NEV. I love their company. I think they're fantastic. And I'm going to talk to you about why and where they come from. So. Exosomes are great for cellular proliferation, for wound healing. They're great for mediating inflammation and itching. And who, who wants to itch? I, I had a condition that during pregnancy, my last pregnancy, and I was so itchy the whole time. It's terrible. Exosomes could have helped me. I didn't even know it. So exosomes from Benev are adipose, human adipose stromal cell exosomes. So they're human derived. Um, going back a little bit to exactly where the exosome comes from in the cell, it comes from the endoplasmic reticulum that becomes extracellular and contains mRNA. And so I think that's important to know um, they are so small and they're very effectively absorbed. And I think that's, that's really important to understand when we use them topically. When they are used for healing and inflammation, they do this by stimulating a paracrine effect um, in our cells and as I mentioned before we use them topically only so they're not indicated yet for injectable use um, they have been accepted by the personal care products council PCPC and the international cosmetic ingredient nomenclature committee which is really awesome and in each vial of Benev exosomes there are two point 5 billion exosomes. I mean, this is wild. They're lyophilized, which means they're stable. They're great for storage. This, this is great for storage being lyophilized. You do refrigerate them. A tissue bank is not needed. And we prepare them by reconstitution and adding a liquid to the lyophilized mixture to create a suspension of sorts. 
So how do we at GFACE MD and how should you out there everywhere all over the world maybe use Silphrum X and exosomes? We use Silphrum X on every patient that wants it um, and who doesn't want it and we include exosomes in each treatment. You can also include things like PRF or PRP to complement the radiofrequency microneedling but we find that exosomes are so wonderful to calm the skin after the treatment and really amplify the results. So we recommend, as I mentioned earlier, we'll recommend a series of three to start, each with exosomes topically applied afterwards. We use a 3cc syringe and we have a little stary tip on top of it. I wish I had one to show you guys. It's a little, um, it's a lure lock and has tiny little, um, hold on, let me go get you one. So here's what it looks like. And for all of you listening on the podcast, I'm sorry you can't see this. You'll have to go to YouTube later. But this is what we have here. And this is almost a little stand so that you put it on the table and it just sits like this. I usually don't even have it sitting. But you just twist it right on and it's a nice little stereo tip that's super, super soft. It allows you to control the amount of products that you're placing on the face instead of it dripping everywhere. I find it to be super beneficial and um, it's really comfortable. It feels so nice. It's almost like a little massage. So you can message below if you want some information. I can, I can connect you with the company to get these. They're awesome. And we also use these for PRF, topical PRF, topical Sculptra. Uh, we love them. And I think for all of you out there, this is just such a this creates such a harmony between injectables, specifically injectables that are collagen stimulating injectables like Radius or polyolactic acid like Sculptra. And we usually recommend if you're getting an injectable of one of those, Sculptra Radius, we like to do the radiofrequency microneedling with exosomes around a week after, at least a week. So between a week and two weeks, this allows the injectable to be so amplified um, by collagen stimulation on the outside. So you're creating that collagen stimulating stimulation both ways, not only enhancing under the skin, but creating this beautiful, brilliant brightness topically. And uh, we have seen fantastic results. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. This is the first new episode in a really long time and I'm so excited to be back to talk with all of you. I know that I listen to podcasts all the time and I think there's a huge need for more education and learning in the aesthetic industry and in skincare and dermatology and all of the things. We'll even get into dermatopathology but if you have any requests on what you want to hear message or put it below and this is going to be unfiltered, unscripted, real talk. Hopefully we'll have some guests on here too, but I'm so happy you are here. Share it with your friends. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe and I will see you guys next time.